I'm Christina. I'm Maya from, from Bookworm Dreams. Dreams. And this is our February wrap up. Uh, in this month, I've read seven books. How many books did you read? Also seven. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right, so I'll start. Yes. All right. Now, uh, the first book I finished in the month month of February mm -hmm. is Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. Now, uh, we're not going to talk about it much because our discussion of this book is already up, I believe. And this is a book that we read for our Read Harder Challenge. Yes. That was also my first book that I read. Okay, so, cool. Yes. You want to... Okay, I'll go on. Yeah. Uh, then um, this book, Zoe's Tale by John Scalzi, was a leftover from January. I can't really remember from what, but... Oh, from, from the, uh, the... What's that called? The... the Tom, and Infinity, and, and Beyond. Beyond Round 2. So it was a leftover. And I wanted to read it because later on I was part of a read zone, which you'll hear about. And um, yeah, Zoe's Tale from John Scalzi. I think I gave it three stars. It was an interesting view of the last... I mean, it's, if you <laughs> saw the, 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 the wrap-up and the TBR for January, you already know what the book is about. I'm just gonna say it was interesting. I really liked, uh, I think my favorite parts was the end when uh, you totally see the relationship. This is spoilers for people who haven't read any of it. Um, you see how the relationship between our main character Zoe and the uh, alien race that she oh, is a okay. religious figure to, okay. how their relationship works and how, you know, it's not really all, oh, we'll do whatever you say because you say it. It's because they, you know, they, uh, they love her and they respect her and they will do everything to help her. You know, she's also a teenager, so there's lots of like feelings about the whole thing. But the ending was the best. That's okay. all I have to say. Cool. Okay. So, uh, in the, I think, first week of February, I participated in the a year mm -hmm. So this is a year-long readathon hosted every first week of the month. And the prompts for this month, for February, was Harry Potter. Hey. So since I've been rereading the entire series for the last couple of months, mm -hmm. I decided to carry on. So of course I chose for a week-long <laughs> reading the biggest book in the bunch, or yes. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, and as you said in the TBR, yes, he gets into pu puberty. Yeah. All of them get into puberty, but at least it's more dark than it than it is in other. Mm -hmm. The other books are like lighter a bit. Mm -hmm. I know scary sh shit happens, but this is a bit darker, more serious. I remember Almost. reading. I remember reading that for the first time, and there's a line in there where he says, "You don't know how I feel, or you don't know anything about it because you weren't there." I remember reading it. I was like, "Okay, this is this is you know, we're getting serious now." Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is true. So yeah, I I really liked it. I th this is like the first in the series that oops, <laughs> thank you. Uh, that I don't remember rereading that much and, mm -hmm. and that I don't remember as much as the first four. Mm -hmm. So I was very happy to read it and kind of, you know, see how I felt about it this time around and I loved it. <laughs> so so yeah. this is spoilers for people who haven't read this. Is this the one where Sirius dies? Yes. Okay. Um, but that part, cry, that, 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 that part was actually a, li a bit underwhelming to me. Right? I I remember was, I was read so, this like it was, last year. It was literally like, oh, he fell into the into the what was it? That a mirror, mirror or something. And it was like What? It was much more impactful when you read it the first time, like when we were kids. It was yeah. like, oh my god, no! And now it's like, okay, he died. Now it's you know. Yeah, yeah. I think that uh, that's that kind of I was um disappointed with that. Because I knew he was he would die, but I forgot yeah, how. Fireworks and stuff. That, but I forgot how, and it was like like oh yeah, he pushed him in there. What? Yeah. So yeah, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the next book I read was uh, our read harder challenge for February, which was River of Teeth by I don't remember again Sarah, Sarah Daly. I do not really remember. Alternate history is the prompt for this one. Yes, and uh, this book follows. Uh, hippos in the Mississippi. We will have a discussion about this book uh, later on, so you can check it out. Okay, so next. I read the second book in the Jacoby series and that is Beastly Bones and oh my god! Fun, it, fun, fun, fun. If you okay. want, like, 
if you want something, if you like Sherlock Holmes type of uh, novels and you want something just, uh, if you're having a tough day or something and you just really want to relax and enjoy yourself but have uh, fan fantastical creatures uh, and... Is there a smart... frog of some sort? There's a frog that farts a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there's um, a duck and a ghost and a werewolf okay, and okay. a lot of smarky remarks. Uh, Watson is a girl, which is also very fun because she's is very... Is Jack a girl or a boy? No, he's a boy. He's okay. a boy, but he's very like... Yeah, he's, he's Sherlock, like okay. the TV version of Sherlock okay. at least, and it's so fun, it's interesting, it, I feel like the book doesn't take itself seriously, like mm -hmm. it knows it's a fun book, so it just goes with it, and okay. I like that. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, after River of Teeth, I kind of went into a reading slump, I was like, I don't, I had, like, <laughs> Originally, my January, uh, February TBR was filled with books like over 500 pages and I read none of them. I was like, I don't really feel like reading those big books. So I picked uh, Solace by K Gail Carriger. Uh, I This is a reread and I love this series and this time I put put the tabs in it this time and I just I just love this book and <laughs> it's so so ridiculous and so fun. So we follow uh, Alexia Taraboti. She's a... Um, uh, a 26 year old spinster. I was like, are you kidding what? me? 26. <laughs> what? Wait, so this, 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 book, this book is set in Victorian England. So there's lots of oh. some, some steampunky stuff happening. Okay. So it's like, she's a 26 year old spinster. I'm like, dude, like, okay, about whatever. So she has, you know, always runs into this werewolf dude whose name escapes me now. I cannot believe. Macon something? I don't know. Yes. Uh, and they like, you know, they banter, they stuff, Aww. they're trying to discover who's like kidnapping uh, rogue um, vampires and, and werewolves and stuff and it's so much fun. Like it's a paranormal romance. So yeah, I love this book and um, yeah, this is like when I was, when I want to get out of a reading slump, I'm like, I read these things because they're <laughs> awesome and they're fun. You're gonna give it to me. Yes, I will. You can take it now. <laughs> Okay, so my next three reads actually I'm going to mention because these are the books I read for a contemporary thon and you have an entire vlog of me reading those so I don't want to get too much into it. So I read Digital Fortress by Dan Brown. All I'm going to say is I think it's an interesting plot if you don't overanalyze anything that he says yeah. and just go with the flow and accept it's a this, big read. Th this is how it is and that's it. Yeah. And I think you can enjoy it if you just don't overanalyze it. Then I read Mouse by Art Spiegelman. 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 I, I, I say Spiegelman because like... Did you say Arch? Art. You said Arch. Arch? I you said know. Arch. I think you said Arch. Okay. Art. Art. <laughs> I say Spiegelman because uh, I studied German uh -huh. and, and it, it's automatic. Is he German? No. He's not German. Is he German? He's Polish. No, he's Polish, but yeah. I don't know why because... Okay. So Mouse is about his father being in the concentration camps and I'm saying his name as if he was German, so... I'm sorry! That's really like, bad! Hide your face in shame! I'm so sorry! Right. And anyways, this was... Art Spiegelman. Real... Yes. Uh, this was such a difficult read, but I was... Uh... Oh, thank you! I forgot I had it! Yes, that! So this is a graphic novel. It's actually... Could you open it? It's uh, in black and white, and all the characters are animals. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the Poles are mice, the Germans are cats, the no, the Jews are mice, the Poles, non-Jewish Poles, pigs. are pigs, and then you have like also some French and Americans. I don't know dogs, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. But it's very interesting and very difficult to read. But mm -hmm. it's in very enlightening because it's not. It doesn't shy away from showing what happens to the person that actually survives the camps. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't go yeah. into only, oh look what happened, this was bad, but it also shows how it affected his dad later on in life. Mm -hmm. I remember reading it and I was like, I know the Germans in their schooling system, they have they do spend a lot of time talking about World War II and the concentration camps. But I think this would be a great book to, for everybody else to read who who um, so they could know 
because now pretty much all the world wars is like a foreign concept it's something that happened but you don't think it affects you now uh, so I think it would be a good read for for like high school kids to read to sort of see you know the effect of that it has and it is in a format that would be more uh, suitable for them yeah. I guess you know than, so they don't read like just text and stuff so this is yeah Yep. Interesting book, yep. yes. And the last book I read was uh, Gold Events, and that this is a comic book. I read volume one. I loved it. What's it about? So this is the story about, uh, I think, a 16-year-old girl mm -hmm. that is a detective. Oh. So, uh, and there's this um, robbery that uh, went on, and she's trying to find out who stole uh, this jewel type thing, and it's really fun. Uh, she's a lesbian, and she has this kind of budding romance with another girl, but it's not like at the forefront, but mm -hmm. it's cute enough, and it's, you know, like mentioned enough to really just get your heart pumping okay. like oh my god this is so adorable and that was actually my favorite book of the month mm -hmm. because i really loved it and i'm going to continue reading it so okay good. okay cool well yeah. uh then i took part in the series cracked and readathon and there is a tbr video and a wrap-up video so i'm not going to really say much i'm just going to say that i read uh, two books by John Scalzi, The Human Division and The End of All Things, and with those books I finished the Ultimate War series, which was one of my yearly goals. Yay! 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 Uh, so yeah, uh, I really like both of them. I'm pretty Ooh. sure Human Division is my second favorite book in the whole series. Um, the first nice. book is my favorite and the fourth one is my second favorite, because it sort of felt like you were going back to the beginning. Like in the, the first book is so good because it's like um, it introduces the world to you for the first time and the characters are fun and their situation is completely ridiculous because they're like 75 year olds who joined the space marines and so they, they're, this is, oh, this is in the first couple of chapters so I'm not gonna like spoil stuff for you but we'll, we'll put a sign just in case you don't want to know so uh, their consciousness basically is being transformed, transferred, Furred, thank you, transferred from their body into a new body which is green and like only um, uh, genetically like mashed to be the best soldier ever, so they're green because uh, their skin has those cells that, that turn this for photosynthesis uh -huh, okay. cells, so they can have more energy and stuff. I mean, it's hilarious. And so when they get transferred into their new bodies, they get like a computer inside their heads which is called a brain pal which helps you communicate with other brain pals and other you know you, it's like a computer which you know you can analyze information get information oh and everybody's so annoyed because I mean, annoyed everybody has like a mean name for their brain pal like uh, our main character calls, calls his uh, brain pal idiot or asshole there's like, lots of names because it's like annoying like I'm your brain pal this is the information you need and they're like it's hilarious and so the human division sort of Brings the whole back to that old bantery feel. Everybody's oh. having fun. They're a bunch of diplomats on various missions. They get themselves into ridiculous situations, and it's it's, it's so much fun. And so I really really like that one. Awesome. All right. Okay. And the last book I read is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins, and uh, I liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm gonna talk about it more in our March TBR because that's when we're gonna pick our. This is you? a good read speak, right? Yes, this is a TBR jar pick, so... Yeah. Well, uh, my last book is called... So, after I read Solace, I went into this... Well, I was uh, uh, putting it in to Goodreads. There's like a part in the next... People who read this also enjoyed. So, I was looking for that <laughs> and I found something called The Kiss of Steel by Beck, McMa uh, Beck McMasters. Which was like the ca the cover is pretty awesome. Uh, uh, we this is a paranormal romance with vampires, <laughs> werewolves. <laughs> it's uh, set in steampunk, steampunk Victorian England, and um, we have two main characters. Honor no, is it, is it Honoria, really Honoria, depending whether you say the H or not, like okay. Honor Honoria, right? And oh, then okay. Blade. It's like Honoria and Blade. So. Uh, Honori, after her father gets killed, she runs away from, there's like a, 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 a society of aristocratic uh, vampires who are very mean, apparently. So she runs away from them into this part of London, 
that um, I can hear my dog outside the door. <laughs> it's like, you know, in Jurassic Park when the raptors sort of breathe on the door. That's him right now. Um, right. So after her father dies, she call, she runs away to this like bad part of London, which is being controlled by Blade. So Blade sort of like invites her in, and he's like, "Okay, I'll give you protection, but you have to like give me something back." So she, <laughs> this is hilarious. She volunteers to teach him how to speak because he has a very like cockney way of speaking okay so there's no like you know it's cockney what can you say you know <laughs> and she's like i'll teach you pro pronunciation and like vocabulary shit and that guy is like way older than she is whatever it doesn't even matter so those two um you know i guess start get it on get it on <laughs> you know there's banter there's fighting there's like you know a rogue vampire going around killing people you know it's like a like a hodgepodge of things happening in this one book and um, I gave it three stars. I mean their relationship was very interesting and it was fun to read but there's like tropes that I don't like. First of all, first of all, now he's scratching the door. So yeah, first of all, it's the bitchy young sister. There's always like a young sister who's like looking down on her older sister who's like trying to get uh, to help them survive this they're now in some desperate times and everything, and she's like, well, because uh, she went uh, out walking with Blade, and like, Blade is called the demon of Whitechapel, it's hilarious, and she's <laughs> like, and her sister's like, well, make sure he pays you for the night, you know, like, what the fuck's wrong with you? So yeah, a bitchy younger sister, so that's kind of crappy, and uh, another trope is the miscommunication trope, so I hate miscommunication tropes, so that's also something that happens here, and also the ending was kind of weird, like, it wrapped up, but sort of so conveniently, like, okay, everything's fine now, I know what to do next to like cure the vampire shit, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the last book I read this okay. month. So, that's it. Yes. Thank you for watching. Yes, please like, share, uh, talk to us down in the comments, you know, tell us if you read any of the books we have, and if you want to share your own wrap up. And uh, we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.